all right now let's continue we want to save the data from this screen to the game screen so the first thing is we have we have put here to start loading this one we have already created the method inside our provider which is set is loading so let's just come back here and then let's say call game provider dot set loading We're going to set this to true just like this we have set the loading boolean to true now we know that we have clicked and it has started to load okay uh, we need this because while we, uh, something is happening in the background we need to be showing to the user that something is loading so next we need to save the uh, time and the, these things selected by the user the player color and, and the time and the difficulty okay so here let's uh, we need to create this to save these things inside our provider uh, in our game provider because we want to access it in the next screen and even the other screens okay so let's go back in our provider class here let's create some more methods now so first up here let's have some uh, declare some variables here so first what we want is the player color and then we also want the time player color and the time okay so the first thing that we'll do is if we go back to the game screen where is our game screen here you can see that uh, we have int as player color as player okay which defines the player which is player one or which is white or black okay so let's move this from this screen we are going to move it inside the provider so that we get the data from where we're starting from okay so uh, inside our game provider here up here let's say int uh, let's have a player this will be equals to squares dot white okay we have initialized our player color let's also initialize our player color the one that we created uh, the enum that we created let's say player color player color is equals to player color dot white uh, what else uh, we can also initialize the time so let's have a duration then let's have white time so we call it as white time or let's say white with an s white time is equals to duration dot zero we initialize it with uh, zero let's copy that paste it back there and then here let's say blacks time and then what else let's also save the time so this is the initial time and then let's also say uh, saved time let's give it a comment so what uh, this is for is uh, uh, when we pick the times here and then start playing the game obviously we are going to put those times on this white time and black time but then we are going to be counted down to zero okay so before we start counting down we want to also save this time into other variables that's why we are getting this other one the second one which is going to be our saved time so for the saved time let's also just copy for for time saving so this one we're going to say uh, white saved time or let's say uh, saved white time 
like that then let's do another one then paste it there so saved uh, blocks time okay that's it and then what's the next method maybe now let's create the getters for this so let's say int get we have player which will return our player the other one is a player color so player color player color get player color which is going to retain our player color uh, the next one we uh, we get the times so let's have a uh, duration or oh, wait time let's get this this will return wait time and then duration get blocks time so return blocks time let's also get the saved time duration get saved white time this will return saved white I mean white time yeah so let's change this to save white time. Let's just copy this. Do it one more time. Let's change this to saved uh, black time. Saved uh, black time. Okay. So we have the getters and the setters and then the next thing to do is uh, uh, let's create the method now to down here let's let's create the method to uh, save the uh, set the game time okay so set game time so let's have a future method which avoid uh, let's have a set game time like that and then here let's give it a, a required argument so let's have a re uh, required string so we are going to have white uh, white uh, let's say new saved uh, white time like that let's just do it again copy paste it here so new saved blocks time okay like that then let's start creating our method okay since it's a it's a future method we need to add async keyword here okay now down here let's save set this time so we're going to get this time and save it first as as this uh, saved uh, time okay so we are going to say save uh, first first of all let's put the comment 
save the times okay so we're going to say saved white time it's going to be equal to duration and then uh, we're going to take the minutes for the minutes now we are going to pass this this time that is coming so here we have to say int uh, int dot pass and then let's pass this time okay so it's a new saved white time okay so now we have saved this white time we have put it to the time that is coming from this method okay so we do the same as usual let's copy and paste and then this is going to be black saved blacks time and then minutes we're going to say new saved blacks time okay so once we have saved this time in these ones the variable saved times let's also save uh, let's notify the changes first of all and then here let's now set white time and set black time okay here we are saving the time here now set times okay so uh maybe let's down here after this method let's create uh, the method for setting set white time so let's say void set uh, white time so this method let's take uh, instance of duration maybe so let's bring it down like that so here let's take uh, duration okay so we are going to say let's just pass this uh, duration which will be the duration so this will be just let's just write time okay and then down here we're just going to say white time white time will be equals to time just like this and then let's notify the changes okay so now we are setting that time to the, the time which is which is coming from up here so let's just copy this we'll do exa exactly the same for black so set black's time and then we are taking time so here is going to be black's time and then we notify the changes so here let's also just say set uh we call that method set white set white time what's that method what is it set white time set uh, white let me just copy it from here so let's call this method and then let's put in our duration which is new time for white okay so we are getting an error because this is the string so here we are putting a duration so let's just copy this duration and put it here let's also now set uh, blacks time let's get this duration and then put it here okay so this is our method for setting the time okay set game time so what we are doing here is uh, we are saving this saved uh, s uh, white time to save to you reuse later and then now we are setting these times here to call when we use this get method okay that's our method here this is done and then the next thing is uh, we need to call this in our in our class here so let's go ahead and continue